This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back. So now we'll see the last topic, which is still remain in basic setting. So what is that? Look at your posting period variant, fiscal year variant, field schedules variant, number range, document type, and tolerance group. Till here we have I have explained everything. Now it's time to explain about this posting key. Even if you post a transaction, guys, posting key also will come into picture. So I'll explain here. This posting key. What is this posting key? And then uh, what kind of control is there? So we just let's have a look here. So now, guys, look at here. Posting key. Decide the debit and credit side of transaction. Okay. First of all, we'll uh, see this line. Posting key. Decide the debit and credit side of transactions. I'll tell you guys. Whenever we are going to post a transaction. Okay, if you talk about books of account, they are like if you're going to post a transaction here, I'll just go to simple. So here credit account debit and your bank account credit. So in SAP, what is happening, guys? Debit and credit. Instead of debit and credit, what is happening, guys? Instead of debit and credit, it will be Posting key will be there with the help of posting key. Like let's suppose instead of debit, we are going to get 40. For credit posting key, as it is given 50, and multiple other posting keys also given by SAP guys. It uh, you know like I'll tell you now here if you are going to post JV journal voucher in the sense GL to GL projects. Look at here. This is the example of JV. Rent is a GL, bank is a GL. So in JV, what is happening, guys? Debit posting key will be 40. And if you're going to post any credit transactions, then the posting key will be there. That is 50. Likewise, even like account payable, also we are having customer related, sorry, vendor related transactions. In that separate, again, you'll be having separate debit and credit posting keys for account. Uh, what do you say? This is for account. Uh, and I told you like account payable separate account receivable separately, asset management separately. So multiple posting keys are there. So now here, the question is, why multiple posting key? Is it not possible to you know manage with only two posting key guys? Simply uh, debit and credit and suppose 40, 50 itself is given, that's okay. So no, posting key is also having certain control. Posting key is also, having certain control what kind of control is there guys so the control is look at here it controls the field status of a document so called transactions right i told you guys the transaction is called document right so now it controls the field status of document now here this is very confusing because if you guys are able to remember in the previous session, I told that it's field status which is going to control field status variant. It's field status variant which is going to control the fields which appears during transaction posting. Now, here in this posting key, I'm saying again that it's posting key also which controls the fields which appears during transaction posting. It controls the field status of document in the sense transactions, right? So it's posting key also, which controls the fields which appears during transaction, transaction posting. Why so? The question is, why SAP has given same setting at two different places? It was okay, you guys were able to understand that field status variant controls the fields. Now again, I'm saying that posting key also controls the fields. Field status also controls the same field. Posting key also controls the same fields. So there will be a question in interview that first of all uh, the question is going to be asked in a different way guys okay scenario based questions can be asked by people they will quote a scenario i think like it's better i quote that scenario later once i post the transactions at that point of time if i'm going to quote the scenario then you guys will be having perfect understanding 
okay because practically i can show you theoretically if i'm going to go to this transaction with this, this scenario and all there might be chances that you guys are going to confuse i'm talking about the beginners at all you are the beginners you since you guys are beginners you are freshers and all but still now so some differences are there what are the differences guys so now we'll see this variant is going to be set up at company code level and posting key is going to be set up at client level now again the next question is then what is the difference between this company code level settings and client level settings how you will identify which configuration is a company code level setting and which configuration is a client level setting okay i'll record a separate video in the sense like later in the upcoming sessions what is happening guys i'll record this topic because uh, right now i'm having very less example to quote later if i'm going to record this topic then what will happen i'll be having more example to quote so that you guys will be having perfect understanding right at this point of time i can quote hardly few because very few uh, recordings very few topics i have covered till now right so now as of now what i'll say that of course there is a differences what differences are there guys field status variant is a company code level setting and posting is a client level setting still you guys will not be able to understand still you you won't be able to understand that how that, that why like what is the differences here i'll show you Real status variant OB C4 and I'll open one more screen. Posting key transaction code is OB41. Okay, so don't worry about this transaction code or path. As I told you guys, the configuration document will be attached here. You can see the configuration document based on that easily you'll be able to do the configurations okay understand the logic never mug up this transaction go down path now so whatever the posting key has been delivered by sap is more than enough it is sufficient enough no need to create create the new posting key still we are having options we are having options to create the posting key but generally posting key whichever has been delivered by system guys that is more than enough okay i have seen one uh, you know like in one tutorial where the tutor is in the sense like faculty is saying that in real time we never create document type in real time we never create posting key i'll tell you guys never say like this if you're going to say during interview if somebody asks like okay uh, can we create a new document type or uh, posting key and all and if you say no we never create uh, you're going to be rejected immediately Based on the requirement, it can be created. The creation option is already given by SAP. But yes, posting key generally, very rarely it is going to be created. Okay, very rarely it is going to be created. Document type, of course, document type uh, can be created, guys. But the posting key, very rarely it's going to be created. But still, we can't say that these things are not going to be created. Even though whatever the required document types are there and posting key is there, that is already supplied by SAP. In the sense, given by SAP. Right, so look at here multiple posting keys are there. These are the this is for customers, vendors, then you are having GL account, right? And even for materials as well. So multiple post posting keys are there. Now, first of all, what I said here, let's suppose any field status variant, then the hour is like TMW uh, TFSB, I think. Okay. TFSP click on here. Okay. That is why I'm saying, guys, whenever you set up your any configurations, you are going to do going to give, right? So here this four digit code, whatever I've given TFSV instead of that, if I was given like TM00 itself here also, it will be very easy to remember, right? so better whatever company code you have created the same code you use to set up your field status variant also posting period variant also uh your like tolerance group also so that easily you will be able to remember now double click on groups so inside of field status variant we are having multiple field status groups guys uh 
actually this is this field status group which is going to control the fields how why these very field status groups are been given by sap again that is uh, going to be that is going to be explained somebody has changed this okay so now here double click that is going to be explained during transaction posting general data look at here multiple fields are there assignment text invoice reference right whatever fields are appearing here the same fields you just double click on this now we'll see about gl uh, this gl what to say posting key 40 and 50 double click on 40 and click here maintain field status so here again you are having the same fields you double click on general data again we are having look at here here also the same fields are there right so the same field is getting controlled by field status variant also and same fields are getting controlled by posting key also what is the logic behind that guys so in one line i'll say right now that field status variant is created at company code levels uh, this is a company code level setting and posting key is a client level setting what is the difference between client level and company code level guys so as i told you it is going to be explained separately in next session okay now or else in one line i'll just explain and again i'll try to explain later also company code level setting company code level setting means let's suppose i have created my company code is team double zero i have created a field status variant tfsv this field status variant can be used by tata motor only if you assign it if you are going to assign it okay so this must be assigned again i have created a posting period variant tppb this is going to be used by tata motor only if you do the assignment right so this is called company code level setting it is having dependencies in the sense company code level setting means it is getting created it is getting created and after creations what is happening guys it must be it is supposed to assign to the company code so once the assignment is done then only the company code is going to use right so tppv is assigned to tata motor so only tata motor is going to use this posting period variant if it is assigned to other company code also then other company code also like tc00 if tata chemical also if, if the same posting period variant we are going to assign to tata chemical also then Tata Chemical also will be able to use this posting period variant. But how Tata Chemical or Tata Motor is able to use this posting period variant, guys? It is possible only after assignment. If assignment is not there, then we won't be able to. In the sense, Tata Motor will not be able to use this posting period variant. If assignment is not there, Tata Motor will not be used this previous variant. If you talk about document type, right? document type is created but there is no assignment so what will happen guys whatever document type is getting created can be used by all company code whichever is there in this this particular server or so-called client where is the client guys i'll tell you when we are going to log in look at your client 800 right inside of this client itself we are having all the configurations whatever company code we have created whatever company we have created whatever posting key whatever document type right whatever basic settings in the sense like folders group whichever things we have created guys these all things are created where it these all things are created under this client only so client if you talk about the organization structure in that the client will be there at topmost level Client will be there at topmost level. I will not go in that details, guys. That much details because again, it is going to dis distract our uh, what to say the explanations. Because right now I'm explaining about this posting key, right? Mm -hmm. And again, I came back on this company code level setting and client level setting. So I'll just again I'll come back. So right now, what is happening, guys? This document type is a client level setting. Why? Because there is no assignment with any company code. Once you have created a particular document type, it can be used by all companies likewise even posting key posting key is also client level setting whatever the posting key is created right after creations there is no assignment with, with any company code it means the posting key 40 
this post key 40 can be used by all company codes. So this is called client level setting. This is called client level setting. It means what is happening here. Okay. If I'm going to look at your field status variant TFSV, this is assigned to TM00, Tata Motors. So if I make this assignment field as a required entry here, then what is happening? This setting is applicable to Tata Motor only. Tata Steel will not have any impact. Tata Chemical will not have any impact. Why? Because this field status variant we have created and assigned to Tata Motor only. If you assign this field status variant to Tata Steel and Tata Chemical, then only that Tata Chemical and Tata Steel also will have the impact of this one. In the sense, this field is going to be required, treated as a required entry. But if you have assigned a different field status variant for Tata Chemical and Tata, uh, what to say, Steel, then whatever settings I have applied, that is applicable for Tata Motor itself. Right? But now here, at posting key level, I said like posting key is not going to be assigned to any company code. Posting key will not be assigned to any company code. So what will happen, guys, in that in that case? So uh, it is this this setting is applicable. This posting key is whatever the posting key is set up or it, which is which is there in SAP. This is for all company code by default. It means if the text field, if you make it required entry here. This setting is applicable to all company code. Okay, it means Tata Motor for Tata Motor also it become required entry for Tata Steel also it become required entry for Tata Chemical also it become required entry. So this is what the difference is. This is what the difference is. I think um, I'll just do one thing, guys. Practically, if I'm going to cover these things, that you guys will be having perfect understanding. So now <coughs> we'll do. I'll explain this practically right now. Let me keep it optional itself. Practically, I'll show you so that you'll be having. So right now, what is happening, guys? Field status. I told you, like field status variant controls the fields which appears during transaction posting, right? Posting key also controls the fields which appears during transaction posting. Apart from this, posting key, what, guys? Posting key is going to determine the debit and credit side of transactions. Instead of debit and instead of credit, we are going to use posting key. 40 and 50 or whatever other posting keys are there. That is one use of this posting key. Apart from this, posting key is having certain control. That is, I told you that it is going to control the field status of transactions. In the sense, during transaction posting, whatever fields are appearing is going to be controlled by posting key. What is the differences, guys? Differences is field status variant is a company code level setting. So if you apply any changes, if you are going to make any changes at field status variant level, then the changes is applicable to the to the company code which is assigned to this particular field status variant if two company codes are assigned this then this changes is applicable to those two company codes only remaining company code will not be having any impact whereas in posting key level at posting key level if you are going to make any changes then what will happen guys then that changes at that setting and and that setting is applicable to all company codes this is what the difference between company code level setting and client level setting. As I told you, I'll try to explain once again later, uh, because uh, later, in the sense, later classes, I'll be having more number of example to quote, right? So now, so this is what the use of posting key, guys. Look at here, posting key design the debit and credit side of transactions, and second thing is it also controls the status, field status of transactions. So uh, generally, I'm not going to define a new, uh, any new posting key, guys, because as I told you, whatever posting key has been delivered by system, it's more than enough for us. And uh, here, the second control I told you, second practically also, I'll explain uh, that how you know posting key is going to control the fields and how field status variant is going to control the fields. In that also, some more thing will be like if you are going to prepare for the certifications, SAP certifications at all. Right. In that, some questions will be there. Let's suppose at posting key level, <laughs> at posting key level, we have made it like this is assignment number or text field is a required entry. And here, what I made, text field suppressed. Which setting is applicable then? If you post a transactions against Tata Motor itself, 
so which setting is applicable that also will be explained practically itself practically i'll make this one by one and then you guys will be able to and even you also can perform this testing guys later on because after this session i have to next session onwards i have to explain gl settings once we have gl setting then only we will be able to post the projections okay so that is also going to be explained each and every lectures are going to be like uh, you know first of all i'll explain theoretically and then i'll show you guys practically this is how you will be having a perfect understanding okay so that is going to be shown you guys practically itself in the upcoming session okay so this is all about the basic setting guys in basic setting what we have covered in basic setting we have covered all these topics okay these are the topics which is supposed to be come back here posting period variant fiscal year variant failure status variant member rates document type total group and posting key for entire basic setting what will happen guys i'll share one configuration document because if you talk about uh, the video <coughs> this lecture is like every session will be like 20 minutes 25 minutes 30 minutes because explanations are going to take time but if you talk about the configurations if you have to do the, do the configurations it is the posting period posting period variant or fiscal year variant or field status variant can be set up within two minutes three minutes but if you are if you are going to if you see the video uh, length like uh, around 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes explanations will be there right so configuration document also will be shared okay so if you see the configuration document guys easily you'll be able to configure these things okay and for in order to understand the logic you have to watch this video okay so that's all in this session guys next session i'm going to start gl settings there also again i'll explain the things all the logics.